XL365 gets updates every month now, and it's amazing. So here's my favorite picks of the new features or newish features added in 2022. Let's go. If you want to keep up to date with Excel and all the new releases, then you can't beat the Excel blog. They're posting monthly now what the new features are. So here's a couple of my favorites. This isn't even an Excel thing to start with, but I still find it quite cool. The fact that you can type excel.new into your browser. And if you're already signed into Office, which often you normally are, then it automatically creates an Excel file in OneDrive for you, which is pretty cool for just mocking up a quick demo file. Right. Let me just type in a short list here. Let's go apple, pear, and grape. Okay, if I want to split that now, equals text split, which is a beautiful function. I've got a little video, a little link will pop up. Click on that. And if I put a comma in there, which is the separator, it splits it into separate cells, which is great. Or I can do another comma and it'll split it into a column. Okay, perfect. Let me put this down here a little bit. Okay, now let's say I add um, another pear and then a grapefruit. Let me talk about the drop down list and searchability, which is cool, right? So if I add some data validation, so data validation, this feature, the data validation one I'm about to show you is only in web currently, but it's coming out soon to desktop. Okay, let's go list. Um, we'll refer to this cell and we'll put a hash on the end of it to make it the dynamic array, okay? So click apply, click on my drop down, and check out the nice thing. Pair only appears once. The drop down list automatically removes the duplicates. Now I could do that myself by wrapping this inside a unique, which probably the way I'd recommend it. But let's say you had a massive long list and you just wanted to refer to it and give people a drop down option. Pretty cool. And the nice thing about it is it's searchable. So if I start typing GR, then all the GRs show up. Yeah, grape and grapefruit. So that searchability, awesome, in web now, Excel web, uh, coming to Excel desktop next year soon. Okay, which is great. Another nice feature that's currently on web coming to desktop sh soon is the review. Two of these things, show changes and check performance. Let me show you, so show changes just lists all the changes that have been made to any cells, okay, by any person. So you can, you know, see what's happened, who changed that particular value, pretty nifty, okay? And you can filter it down to the actual selected range or sheet just to focus on that particular cell rather than getting a list of everything. I think it keeps it for about 60 days, the last 60 days worth of changes. I might be wrong on that, I can't quite remember. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Uh, tracking your changes and then workbook statistics or oh, sorry check check performance is the other one that I just flag if you've got big slow files again web only currently but coming to desktop check performance and it'll tell you if you've got the, you know, those those empty rows those empty columns those formattings that are filling down or row heights that need removing that'll just flag it up for you and you can also click a button to fix it up which is great and one last little thing um, it's a small thing but I love this, the new shortcut for Power Query Editor is just coming out in the Insider channel. So anybody who's done VBA in the olden days, or still currently, Alt F11 for the VBA editor, Alt F12 brings up the Power Query Editor, Alt F12. Okay, just something simple, I love that. Now, the big one I've left out is Lambdas. That's a whole topic in its own right. And the advanced formula editor, that was a really nice addition and that's getting better all the time. Um, I'll definitely be doing some videos about that next year. Okay. Hope you enjoyed it. Maybe you learned something new. I'll catch you in the next video.